Party people, it's your boy Tito. If you haven't been to my channel, you don't know that I do a lot of random stuff. Reviews on cologne, reviews on shoes, workout videos, what to eat, uh, what works for me, you name it, cars, a lot of random stuff. If you like my channel, check it out when you get a chance. Uh, subscribe to it. Um, eventually, I want to build this thing and, and see where it goes, you know. I like helping people and I also like uh, uh, talking about stuff, right? <laughs> so anyway, I got two reviews, two colognes that I just picked up for 2024. Now, they, they've been out, but I just want to review them and let you know what I think, okay? The first one... Is this Tom Ford uh, and this is the gray vetimer okay and it's the Oda Parfum okay Oda Parfum so you have the Oda Toilette uh, the Oda Parfum and the Parfum so I decided this is the first time I tried this one so I decided to get this one and uh, try it so the first thing I I noticed it reminds me of, um, it's not a sweet smelling cologne, okay? Not sweet smelling at all. It's like, if you ever back in the day smell Fahrenheit, not exactly like Fahrenheit, but it's got that kind of smell and not necessarily too woodsy, but it does have a woodsy smell. Um, I, I like it. I mean, it's not something that I think uh, I'm gonna wear like every day it's more of a you know going out type of cologne at least i think so i mean could i wear it to work yes would i wear it to work yes but for me um i'm probably not going to wear this to work it's probably going to be something that i you know when i'm we getting out me and my wife we go out somewhere uh something like that and this one the the uh eau de parfum it's a pretty, it's not very light. It's, um, it stays on you pretty well. Uh, I want to say like, if you ever tried Issey Miyake, it stays on you pretty, pretty a long time. It's right under that to me, but it's definitely a different smell than something like Issey Miyake. Okay, like I said, it's not light. It, it's more heavy, you know, it's more heavy, but it smells real good. My wife loves it, right? So Tom Ford Gray Vetiver, Eau de Parfum. Check it out. I bought it on, uh, I was going to buy it at a couple spots, and I, I saw this retargeting ad that came to me from a place, and I, I, I just, anyway, I got it online. It wasn't bad. This is a 3.4 liter. This one's about $150, and uh, the Parfum, a little bit more. Uh, you go to Macy's and stuff. I know they had it for like 180 for this 3.4. Uh, the toilet. Um, I don't. I don't really get the toilets no more because they don't last that long. Uh, these companies try, <laughs> you know, try to you know change the fragrances a little bit. Back in the day, uh, I think all I was buying was the older toilets, you know, and they will they would last a long time most of them. But anyway. This one is the one to get. This is uh, the one I bought so far this year. I, I I do a lot of cologne, so. This next one, I've had this. Sauvage by Dior, Dior. And I've had the uh, Eau de Parfum, but I want to try a small bottle of the Parfum just to see, you know, how much stronger it is or how much more it lasts uh, on me. I'm not gonna spray it on me again because I got that time for it. But now this one, definitely different than that time for it. It's more of between light and heavy, right? Right in the middle. And I'm not gonna tell you what kind of notes like bergamot, well, you know, I'm not gonna do all that. I'm just gonna tell you that this one I can wear every day. Going out to work, it does stay on you. Uh, I haven't, uh, this Parfum, I haven't tried it going out or going to work yet. 
I, I actually tried it just around the house and it stayed on, but you know, I can't really tell cause I really didn't, I just put a little bit on and I really couldn't, um, couldn't tell that much, but I like it. I like the original one. I mean, uh, not original, one, but the Eau de Parfum. This is the Parfum Sauvage by Dior. Okay, it's a 1.7 liter right here. I think I, 1.7, this one I paid about $100 for it, right? The 1.7. And so I just, like I said, I wanted to try it out first because I still have some of the, the, um, the uh, Eau de Parfum left. So anyway. So yeah, those are the two fragrances I bought in, here in two, 2024 so far. I'm sure I'll be buying some more. Um, I mean, I keep a lot of cologne. I wear a lot of cologne. No, I don't drown myself in it, uh, but I do wear it. I mean, even when I work from home, I wear it, you know? So uh, those are two that I definitely recommend. Uh, the Tom Ford, I just heard a lot about that Vetiver. Uh, vetiver. See, I'm pronouncing it wrong. So you can tell I just got it. Uh, Grey Vetiver, right? And I recommend it. It's, it's uh, to me, it's all that and then some. It's just not one I'm going to wear every day, like I said. But, you know, if, if you want to, obviously that's your choice. But anyway, yeah. Y'all, that was a little quick review of those two colognes that I bought for 2024 and what I think about them. Both of them, they both work. They both work. My all-time favorite, just so you know, is Issey Miyake. I'm an Issey Miyake type of guy. I bought more Issey Miyake than anything else, right? I, re I bought them when the, the uh, Eau de Toilette formula uh, smelled just as good as the uh, Eau de Parfum formula for Issey Miyake. Yeah, they changed it up on us. So anyway, uh, check out my channel. Subscribe if you like it. And I'll be making more content in the future. I'm just getting started. And I will be getting a mic because I don't have a really professional mic right now. But I will be getting one. And I'll sound better, right? Uh, so, yeah. Workout videos, food, you name it. Life in general. Uh, married life, you know. Uh, in the future, I hope to have me and my wife do some things on here. Uh, so, yeah. This is Tito. Um... Tito Good Vibes. So you, if you're hearing this, you're already having a great day. Make it a blessed one. Peace, y'all.